Today, we are focusing on explaining visuals. It's important to make effective visuals, but it's also important to explain the visuals effectively. And what does effective mean? Again, you be the judge. Let's compare two presentations about the same visual. Here's presentation number one. So, as you can see from this chart, in January, sales stood at 3.4 million. And as you can also see from this chart, in February, sales stood at 3.7 million. And this was followed by a slight increase in March and April. And then you could see that in May, sales stood at 5.2 million dollars. And this was followed by a slight decline in sales in June and July, which was followed by a sudden sharp increase in August through October. And in August, sales went up by 2.7 million. And in September, they rose to um, 7.3 million. And in October, they landed, landed in 11.3 million. <laughs> This bar graph shows monthly sales from January to October. This shows sales in months. This shows money in millions. Now, the key point on this graph is here in June and July where the sales fell. Now, why did the sales fall in these months? The next chart will give you an answer. Two presentations where the speaker explains the same graph. Which explanation was more effective? The first one or the second one? I guess we can all agree the second one was more effective, but why? The speaker's explanation and the first one took too much time and she explained the obvious. She repeatedly said, as you can see, as you can see, if we can see, she doesn't need to explain. And second, the speaker had poor eye contact with the audience. She presented to the screen not to the audience. On the other hand, the speaker in the second presentation gave a short, clear, and focused explanation. Why? Because she introduced the graph, explained only what was necessary, emphasized the key point, and then used a question as a transition to the next chart. Secondly, she presented to the audience, not to the screen. She pointed her toes at the audience and faced the audience throughout her explanation. And that is what you need to do to explain your visuals effectively.